The Doplex Ability contains a training pack, power lead, the Doplex Ability Unit, and a separate accessories box. Open the accessories box by lifting the box flap as shown. Inside you will find a set of regular ability cuffs for the right ankle, left ankle, right arm and left arm. Remove the piece of cardboard from the accessories box. Underneath you will find the battery compartment Allen key. a self-adhesive roll of paper, a standard roll of paper, a 2 meter USB cable and a pack of infection control disposable sleeves. Remove the Docplex Ability from its packing. Gently turn the unit over and using the Allen key provided, unscrew the battery cover. Remove the screw completely. You can now see the battery connector and the air filter. To remove the air filter, gently lift the unit up as shown. The battery may require a few taps to become loose. Once loose you can easily join the battery connector to the one in the unit. Place the battery pack back into the unit, making sure the air filter has also been replaced. Replace the battery cover and fix it into place with a screw. Tighten the screw with the Allen key.
To fit the paper roll, open the printer compartment at the back of the unit. Place the outside of the paper roll against the printer head as shown. Close the door, making sure it clicks shut. Pulling the paper towards the handle, using the cutting edge to neatly cut the paper. Take the power cable and securely push the correct end of the cable into the socket at the back of the unit as shown. Connect the plug into the wall socket and turn on the power. The green flashing light indicates that the unit is charging. Turn the unit on by pressing the green power button. You are prompted to select a language. Using the up and down buttons, select the relevant language and press the middle button to confirm. Now you see the battery conditioning mode has automatically started. This takes a total of 8 hours and it is important that the battery is conditioned. We suggest doing this overnight when the unit is not in use. You can override the battery conditioning by pressing the middle button, allowing instant use of the product. Battery conditioning can also be completed at a later date. The patient should lie on a couch in a supine position and the two chamber cuffs should be attached to each limb. Use the left leg cuff with the green tube and place the bottom chamber over the left foot, first making sure that the white line is on the top of the foot and over the anterior tibial artery. Now wrap the cuff around the ankle as shown. Note that the arrow on the white line acts as a range marker for the size of the cuff. Ensure that the correct size cuff is fitted. Now repeat for the right ankle. Take the patient's arm and wrap the top chamber of the cuff first. Ensure that the white mark is over the brachial artery and wrap the lower cuff around the forearm. Note that the arrow on the white line acts as a range marker for the size of the cuff. Ensure that the correct size cuff is fitted. Place the patient's arm back down. If the couch is narrow, 
then the patient should place their thumbs into their waistband. Make sure the tube is not kinked and is resting on top of the arms. Now repeat for the right arm. It is important that both arm systolic pressures are measured as this is required in all national and international guidelines. If only one pressure is measured, this could lead to a misdiagnosis of PAD and a potential adverse incident if a patient has compression therapy when contraindicated. Connect the tubes to their colour-coded sockets, pushing them home until you hear a click. Start the test by pressing the middle button. An animation will appear showing the correct cuff placement. If correct, press the middle button again. The test will take three minutes. During the test, make sure the patient relaxes, closes their eyes and does not move. Explain that the arm cuffs will go tight and then the ankle cuffs will go tight. Once the test is complete, the results will appear on screen. Press the left button to display the PVR waveform. Press the right button to print the results. Pull the paper towards the handle for a clean cut. The printout clearly shows arm and ankle pressures along with the calculated ABIs and the PVR waveform. On the home screen, press the button on the left hand side. As shown, the screen will now give you the option of a left leg amputee, right leg amputee or continuing with bilateral use. Use the left and right buttons to select the option required. Press the tick to accept. As shown on the main screen, the left leg amputee has been chosen. To change back, press the left hand button and select the bilateral mode. Press the spanner icon to enter the settings menu. With the contrast option highlighted, press the tick button. Using the left and right buttons, you can change the contrast of the display. Press the tick button to accept. Select time and date from the settings menu. You can select either a 12 or 24 hour format. The hours and minutes can be changed by using the left and right buttons. Press the tick button to accept. You can now set the date formats as shown. In this case, we are selecting day, month and year. You can now set the date. Press tick to exit. Select paper type from the settings menu. 
the unit defaults to label paper, which will produce the best image. Select Audio Volume from the Settings menu. Use the left and right buttons to increase, decrease, or turn the audio off. Press the tick to accept. Select Classification from the Settings menu. You can now change the levels of classification by using the left and right buttons. Press the green tick to accept and cycle through the list. Always set these levels according to the local protocols. Select waveforms from the settings menu. You can now select to have waveforms on or off. Press the green tick to accept. Select Battery Conditioner from the Settings menu. Start the battery conditioner by pressing the tick and leaving the unit for 8 hours whilst connected to the main supply. We recommend conditioning the battery before first use. Select Demo Mode from the Settings menu. This is useful for showing at exhibitions and to those new to the product. Showing pre-programmed readings, this allows printouts to be produced. The unit will stay in demo mode until it is turned off.